Last preparation exercise for the side splits exercise itself is actually a variation on something that Merrin touched on yesterday, so I want to just take you through it now. Can I just borrow that set up? Sure. So we start out to the side like this. Notice I've got my tail tucked and the hips are perfectly in alignment. And then you work backwards and forwards like this. Just keep moving backwards and forwards until eventually you'll be able to get down onto the ground like this. And then what you do is you work two things. One, you work your body towards this leg, keeping the back as straight as you can. And the second thing is we're going to do half of the legs apart exercise in one go by simply going forward like this and then try to work the angles in between where you can hold your feet and all the way back to the leg like this. All the, all the usual contractions can be done, you can hold onto your feet, you can get someone to help you, but it's only half of the legs apart exercise. Now here's the crazy thing and the reason why we're doing this. Now, can you just help me for a second, Greg, and can I just lean on you for a second? Everyone here in this room is loose enough to do this, just take the leg up to horizontal. So you have the hips are level, stop there, and the legs are out to the side, but almost no one can do that with both legs in the same position, and yet no muscles join the legs together. The brain joins the leg together, and that's what stops you. That's effortless, right? Everyone can do it. But two legs together, anything but effortless. Off you go. Have a play with this. It's a very good exercise.